All right, Sean Zatel here, joined with the former super featherweight champion of the world, now at lightweight, coming off two straight knockout wins in the division, yes, rated sir. number 12 by the WBO, and now he's fighting Raymond Murataya, who's rated number two by the WBO next Saturday in Vegas. What's up, Tevin? What up, man? What up? How you doing, man? Thanks for having me. No, th thanks for taking the time to do some interviews, man. Um, So, yeah, Raymond Murataya, what, what's your thoughts on him? Um, honestly, uh, be, be, before the fight, um, before they came to us about this fight, I never even knew who he was, never watched him. Um, so once they said his name, I was just starting to get familiar with him after I looked him up and see exactly who he was and stuff like that. I think he is definitely a solid, great contender right now, to be honest. A solid contender? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, um, so, so, you know, what do you bring into the bag that you think is going to give this give this young kid too much to handle? I just think just my overall experience is going to be too much for him. Not not alone my talent, but just my just experience. This is the biggest stage he had ever been on as far as facing uh, a fighter like myself. Um, I was actually surprised he took this fight. So that's big ups to him and his whole team because it, this is not an easy task for him. And when, he, when they took the fight, I'm like, wow. So – um, it shows that he wanted to fight the best and he wanted to be the best. How uh, how are you feeling at 35, man? You got two knockouts in a row at 35. How do you yeah. feel at 35 versus when you were champion at 30? Well, at 35, I could I could come in much stronger, as y'all can see. Um, most of the time at 130, I was coming into I was coming to fight his weight drain, and I really couldn't perform how I wanted to. Um, even in camp at 130, I I I, I hurt a lot of people and. Throughout the spars, I dominate, like, hurt, drop, everybody. Then when, it, when it's time to fight, it don't transition to the fight. And I never understood what it was. So at 35, I'm more comfortable, more stronger. And um, I think I'm going to show it next week. I how, will show how it How confident week. are you that your power is going to be enough to keep this young guy off of you if if that's what he tries to do? I mean, I got, I mean, see, I'm versatile, you know. Not It's not only power, just my skill alone, you know, just my skill I, I you never probably seen nobody walk just walk straight towards me. So nobody ever has just walked me down, no matter how much power they said I had or didn't have or the other opponent had. You never seen nobody and you can pour it up. Nobody ever just walked me down. And it was for a reason. You know, um, like when you watch him, it seems like he he's kind of like a boxer puncher. Yeah. Do you, do you think um if he comes out trying to be the boxer early on, he figures out early on that yeah I can't outbox this guy. I better go forward. Um I don't know. You know, we gotta see on fight night. Um styles make fights and whoever got the best game plan, whoever coming to the ring that night is is who's gonna be dominant. So we I, I we just gotta see how it play out, you know, we never know. I mean there were times where I, I walk down punchers, you know, there's been times to where I you know, so it, it really depends. Is is there times though uh, in your career where that would kind of happen? A guy thinks he could outbox you, and then he he learns like, no, nah, that speed is quicker than when I got. And I, now I'm gonna just go forward, and then so have you um, ran into that a couple times. And yeah, I ran into pretty much everything in my throughout my career. I got forty fights, so I pretty much seen everything. Um, I had everything happen to me. I had guys that tried to box and seen they couldn't and walk and walk forward. I had guys that a punch that tried to walk forward and couldn't do it. And ended up boxing. So, like I said, it all depends on um, the approach of the fight and how each opponent is feeling. You know, you can never, you can never, um, you can never really, uh, what word I'm looking for? You can never really call a fight until it really happens. You know, we can, we can all guess and see how it will play out. But once the fight happens, then we we'll all see how it's going to be. But I'm for for more, for sure, he can't box with me, or he can't bang with me. I, I can promise that. I remember um, it was like getting ready for Ogawa on HBO, a fight most yeah. people thought you got robbed and, and you should have won the IBF that night. But yeah. You were that you were in your 20s with that fire in your belly, like just at, at everybody, at, at any and everybody who wanted smoke, you wanted it. So yeah. what what's light and now that you're 33 and a veteran now, what's yeah. what's keeping the fire in the belly right now? I mean, Ben's though, I had a young, a, a, a young and early and non experienced amateur career, which I had 16 fights. Um, I feel like I was just getting started at that point of my life. You know, I was still learning on the job. And that's I feel like that's the reason why I took my four losses early on in my career, you know, learning on the job, not having the manager, not having the promoter. So 
my early all the stages early on in my career, even as a champion, it was still stepping stones and, and learning steps for me to be where I'm at today. And you know, I'm only like some years in and I'm 33. You know, we got you got guys that's younger than me that been in the game way longer than me. So um and they still hungry. So I got less years than them. I'm just a little older. So I feel like just me um not having a big image of career and just getting started, man. I feel fresh right now. I took three and a half years off. I feel amazing. Um, I'm gonna come. Listen, I'm 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 <laughs> I'm coming I'm coming to dominate. You know, uh, I'm only 33, so I, I'm at my prime. So so, 33 year old, 135 pound Tevin Farmer is better than in his 20s, uh, world champion at 130 Tevin Farmer. A hundred percent, a million percent. You know, now I, I feel like I got that experience. I, I I got that experience. I know how to settle my shots. You know, I know I'm mentally strong. I'm mentally better. Um, I'm just better all around the board. Let me just um, take it back to that that fight that everyone was talking about back in like the late 2010s. You and Gervonta, it, it never happened. But I, yeah. I remember one time Leonard Ellerby, because I, I talked to him about the fight. Leonard, I want to see this fight. And he went, I offered Tevin Farmer $2 million, would have been his career high. He turned it down. So we're not, is that is that a true story that Leonard told so I don't. Or? I don't want to get too far off um, yeah. Raymond. Because you know, I gotta focus on this guy. Rem is not a pushover. But to answer the question, what what do you consider an offer? I'm asking you, what do you consider an offer? I would think something, something, something at least an email or a paper, something like something legit, not just the. So well, I mean, if, it does start if, verbally. But if Leonard Ellaby, right? And I and I love Leonard Ellaby. I got much respect for him. I promise, that's my guy. But if they say he made an offer to me, tell him to show an email or something on paper that. Unless it's something that I don't know about, I never got made an offer. I got made a tweet. But he offered me two million. My career highs, right? He said at the time. That's what he said. And at the time I was with Eddie, and Eddie offered Javante like eight thousand eight million at the time. And he wasn't even making that. So it's like, eh, we got everybody got their stories, you know, but it is what it is. It didn't happen. And I still feel like it's possible to happen. I still feel like um, I go and get these, go and get this win, go get another belt. It's still one of the biggest fights to be made, just because of our history. Well, yeah, that, that like if you beat Murataya and now you're in line to fight for the WBO against Baranchek or Keyshawn or yeah. whatever, now yeah. that fight's becoming a realistic possibility again, right? You and Tank. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I just got I got to get past Raymond first, which I will get past him, and I think I'll be number two in WBO. I take his spot and I go fight for the WBO and. I go get a shot, and after that, you know, I'm I'm down to get it on. How do you um see yourself winning this fight? Like realistically, are you like I I'm gonna have to go go through some trenches? There's gonna be some rounds where it it's tough on me physically, mentally, but I'm gonna get through it. Or are you thinking domination? I'm gonna what? Um, it? honestly, I I know anything that happened in boxing, so I'm not gonna disrespect the sport. I've been in, I've been in the sport for so long. I know anything that happened, but based off my experience. Based off um my 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 my, uh, my knowledge that I have in the game, I'm I, I feel like it's, it's totally domination. He's not on this level. Never faced nobody at this level. And and when he get in there, you you'll see he you better tell that it's uncomfortable for him. Make it uncomfortable. We're during those two and a half years off, man. Were you just doing Philly gym wars? Or three and a half. Three and a half. Three. three and a half years. I thought it was three, but you said two and a half earlier. So I said I went. Yeah, two and I mean half. I meant I meant to say three. My body. Okay. All right. All right. But uh, were you just doing like a lot of those famous Philly gym wars, or were you? I'm not from Philly. I'm, I'm not. I don't live in Philly, but I'm from Philly. Okay. Yeah, I, I never did. I never did. I never done gym wars. If I done gym wars, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Yeah. I don't do gym wars. You know, I, 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 um, I grind to get better. You know, I work to get better. I don't work to, 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 to be the best gym, gym fighter. You know, that's not, that's not me. So, um, no. Was that prevalent back at no. home in Philly though? Huh? Was that kind of prevalent back home in Philly? What you mean? Like, um, cause that's that's like over the decades what they always said, the legendary Philadelphia gym wars. Is that yeah, nah, I never I never done those. Um, wasn't beneficial. It's not beneficial. You no, know, of course I had tough sparring, but having gym wars is you 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 be beat before the fight even happened. 